Ladies and gentlemen, I know why you're here today. Because you want to see how I model the Lada. And I'm aware of this being a piece of history, this car. But we still need to start this off like we do every other car as well. You don't fuck with a man's Lada. And this means that we start typing in the dimensions of this car. So we can later block out this blocky looking car. Then we can go ahead and start adding the blueprints from this car. And for a reason that is unknown for mankind, the side view is facing the wrong direction. So I just went ahead and rotated the blueprint by 180 degrees to fix this issue. At least the other views didn't make a problem. But it did still mess up with the blueprints. Because now the front and the back view has the side mirror on the left side. To which is not correct. Obviously the side mirror only needs to be on the right side. Who needs the side mirror on the left side? It's unnecessary. Then I added a new collection to organize the workspace and added in a cube and merged at the center. So we are left with only one single vertex. And I did bring the ladder here at the bottom right of my screen for you all to admire and for you to know which reference images I'm using right now. And obviously as I'm modeling the hood right now, I'm using a reference image from the hood of this car. And for modeling the hood, I did not only model the hood, but moreover I modeled the complete top of this car because this is just a flat area and at this point right here where I would now extrude this vertice all the way to the middle of the hood I'm adding in a mirror modifier and enable clipping to make sure that while extruding the vertice the vertice stops right in the middle of the hood then I filled in some faces added in some loop cuts and put all of the vertices on the blueprint lines and by the way if you want to learn how to create 3d models like this I've put together a complete step-by-step -step course on how to model a 3d low poly car in blender in the course we go through the entire process beginning from the car body modeling the interior of the headlight and taillights and modeling the rim where I will show you all of the techniques that you need to know and all of that from the first vertex to the complete finished render of the car. You'll get over two hours of detailed video lessons, high quality blueprints from the vehicle and two extra sets of blueprints so you can practice once you have finished. And the best part is that once you have created the course you can create your very own 3D car models. Then you can go ahead and sell them on marketplaces like Sketchfab and Blender Market and start selling custom orders on Fiverr. This is by far the best way to start turning your 3D skills into a profitable business. So go ahead and click the first link in my description to start your journey to wealth today. Then I went straight ahead into cutting out the death in the hood right here. For this I'm using the knife tool. Then I selected all of the faces that needs to be moved down, inserted them in with I and moved them down on the z-axis and then again I cut out the air intake or whatever this is with K. Write this into this comments if you know what this is and went on deleting this edge right here to create this hole in this hood. I skipped this piece of the side view because this is just a flat area. The only area that's not flat is the real arch and for the wheel arch I just make sure that I have the same amount of vertices in the inner and outer line of this wheel arch. Then for this bumper area right here I extruded this edge all the way to the bottom of the car and actually this car started to look a little bit futuristic right here. <laughs> But trust me, it will start looking old once we add the bar from the front bumper. So then I jumped all the way into creating the back wheel arch and I made this big jump because I thought that showing how you model the roof of the car is not interesting at all and definitely not because I forgot to press on record. Unacceptable. Then I also did cut out the death of the trunk and for a second I thought that I just used the hood also for the trunk but when I took a look in the side view I saw that the trunk area is way shorter than the hood area and then a question rose up in my mind and I could not stop thinking about how many cases you could fit in the back of the ladder and you could fit about two to three cases in the back of the ladder and then by placing the last vertices in the back of the car we are already finished with the main car body of the ladder so I went straight ahead into adding the details of this car and I started again with the air intake in the front so I duplicated the vertices from the hood separated them so I could create a new object and rename this one to black parts and the main car body into paint and then I thought to myself why the ladder is red if you want to take her to bed Get a lot of that's red. And then I started modeling the car grill area right here by first modeling this chrome frame. And actually this was a complicated part because the frame and all of the other bars in the grill did not extend all the way to the middle. So I had to cut them out before the middle line. But before I added all of the other bars, I added in a new circle with eight vertices to start modeling the headlights. Then I took all of these vertices right here and duplicated them into a new object. I filled in this face and now I had to cut out the headlights from this new created face. For this I first duplicated this headlight part and went ahead and added in a boolean modifier on this black part I then applied this boolean modifier and although this did not come out correctly I could fix this easily then I added in a new cube and scaled it down to the size of one bar of the grill placed it to where it needs to be and duplicated it all the way to the bottom and because the headlights again ran the way I had to add in another boolean modifier right here and this didn't turn out perfect as well but it was easy to fix then I took one horizontal bar and rotated it to be vertical and just repeated the process like I did on the horizontal bars earlier I did move some the horizontal bars to make place for the ladder logo 
and once again added in a new cube and modeled out this logo from it. And then some guy asked me, Do we have any more Lada related questions? And I asked this guy what to do if my girlfriend wants Prada. If your girlfriend wants Prada, <laughs> pick her up in a Lada. And while modeling this Lada, I actually thought to myself that I want to get a Lada myself, not only because I'm Russian. <laughs> But just because of just how many metallic materials they use for this car and not the shitty black plastics they use in their newer cars. And I actually think that this ladder right here is the car that I modeled which had the most chrome parts ever. Then I finished up this hood part right here by cutting out the hood itself, then selecting off the edges and creating a bevel with one loop cut in it, using the knife tool at the beginning right here and then just moving down the middle vertices to create this car panel gap. Then I added in a new cube to model out the bar at the front bumper and I just added in some depth by adding in some loop cuts so it is not looking just like a block. And I added in this vertical bar as well. And to add in some details to this ladder, I added in one more cube and did model the license plate from it. Then to fill in the holes that we still have in this car, I first created this chrome frame for the windshield and then went straight ahead and created the windshield itself. And I can't tell you much about modeling the side windows right here because this is just basic modeling. I cut it out as probably not air intake in the side of this car and then added in a new cube to model out the shiny looking chrome door handles and I also duplicated this door handle to the back door. And just when I thought that this would be all of the chrome parts they used in this car, I realized that I had to add this chrome line to the side of the ladder. And not only that, but I also added chrome lines to the wheel arch, so I went straight ahead into adding them. And the last chrome part that I could find was this line at the bottom of the car. And after finishing the chrome parts in the side of the car, I went straight ahead to cutting out the doors by once again adding in a bevel and then moving all of the middle vertices in. Then I went to finishing up the back of the car and even in the back of the car there were so many chrome parts you wouldn't believe it. Even the exhaust was chrome. And to make this model look good I also added in some details in the back like this Lada 1500 badge right here. Then I added in the underbody of this car by first duplicating all of the vertices from the edge of the car body and then just filling in the faces. Then for modeling the rim, I added in a circle with 24 vertices. Because this model has 12 identical parts and 24 can be divided by 12, I moved the cursor to the middle of the circle right here so we can later on rotate this one part 12 times with the cursor as the center. I did some quick maths to make sure that I'm right right here because fucking up the rim is even worse than not saving your blender file and having blender crashing. So this rim was really easy to make. The only hard part right here was to project the circle onto the surface right here. But once I had managed this part, I could rotate the rim 12 times to end up with the complete rim. And then the last part that I made was to create this tidy fin looking wheels, but it actually handles the bumps better than the Lambo. So I guess bigger is not better. <laughs> then I did fix all of the inverted normals, duplicated the wheels to the back, and then I copy and pasted the ladder into my render scene setup and I added all of the needed materials for this car. I added in a camera and placed it at a pretty looking angle and then I went straight into rendering out this view. And now these pictures that you can see right here are the results of modeling this Lada. Now go ahead and write into the comments which car I should model next and if you by now want to know how to model cars like this then go ahead and click the first link in my description. There you will find my full step by step course on how to model a low poly car in Blender. So if you want to learn how to do it this would be the most effective way. And now we need to go to a Lada dealership to start driving my lotto with a all my friends, friends. <laughs>